Hello! So as you've probably noticed, IW3D has finally been released. And after 9 months of working on the project, we've finally managed to get something done for once, and we are really happy to get this out to the public. This video is just supposed to be a short tutorial on how IW3D works and how you can use it to create the 3D scenes that you want. So let's start by exporting a quality 4 map first, so we have something our players can walk on later. The first thing you'll have to do is load a map of your choice by either using the start new server menu or the dev map command. Um, once the game has loaded the map, just open up your Call of Duty Movie Making Launcher and hit the export map button that's in the IW3D tab. The export process can take anywhere from 1 to 10 minutes, but it should complete rather quickly in most cases. You'll be notified when the map is exported by this neat little pop-up. The resulting map export file will be in the map subfolder of the IW3D directory in your Call of Duty 4 installation folder. If you plan on using any of the game's textures in your 3D scene, you'll also need to create a textures folder inside of the maps directory. Navigate into the main folder of your Call of Duty 4 installation and uh, open these IWD files. They should contain a images folder in which you'll find a bunch of IWI files. You'll need to drag all of these into your textures folder. The last step you'll have to do is converting those IWI files into DDS files so you'll be able to use them in your scene. Um, I highly recommend a tool called IWIXDDS um, for this step which can convert all of your IWI files at once. You can download it from this website which is linked in the description. Uh, once the tool is opened, tick this checkbox and drag all of the IWI files into the window. This process might also take a few minutes, you can just ignore any error messages that might pop up during the process. After a while, the window of the tool should become responsive again and it should have created all of the necessary DDS files in the textures folder. You can now delete all of the IWI files from the folder and you'll be ready to go. Importing one of the map files produced by the map exporter is quite straightforward. You only really need the COD map importer plugin. Just open your Blender installation, go to user preferences and then click the install add-on from file button and select the COD map importer zip file to install the plugin. Um, once that's done, just enable it and then you can go to import and select the COD map import option. Uh, which prompts you to select the exported map file and once you double click on that it should import the file it might take a few seconds but in the end your uh, map should be imported and everything should look like it does in game you should also make sure to select cycles as the rendering engine to properly see any of the map textures First you'll obviously need to start your game and select whatever mod you want to use. Um, once that's done, you're gonna open the Call of Duty Movie Making Launcher and go to the IW3D tab. Just enter your key as usual and then click the Load IW3D button, which will load the specialized IW3 Movie Making IW3D version. Once that's loaded, you can just load up your demo and skip forward to wherever your clip is starting. 
Once you want to start recording, just enter IW3D underscore FPS and the FPS count at which you want to record it. Um, then unpause the demo and it will start recording frames and 3D data for the clip until you enter IW3D FPS 0, which will stop the recording. The resulting file should be in the IW3D folder in your Call of Duty 4 directory. There should also be a new folder created which will contain a bunch of frames that were recorded during the process. You will need those to do your velocity on them later. Since you probably don't want to spend days just rendering all of the 300 FPS 3D frames for your edit, just to put velocity on top of them in the end, you can use the AVI demo frames that the mod wrote into the IW3D folder to do your velocity on those. Um, just assemble them into a video with your favorite tool, I'll just use VirtualDub for this, and load the resulting video file into your preferred editing program. Once you've got your velocity and cutting down, just render the clip as a PNG image sequence into a folder called Velocity. Um, you need to make sure that there are no effects on it, no motion blur, no resampling, no pan crop, nothing. Just the basic set of frames with the Velocity on them. Um, you also need to be careful to have a continuous set of frames, meaning that there are no black frames or frames from other clips or cinematics in between. Um, the other thing you need to render out is the clip without any velocity. Make sure you render out all of the frames, meaning that if you created a 300 FPS file with VDub, you need to render it out with 10% velocity at 30 FPS to get all of the frames. It's important that all of the original frames are rendered. Any missing frames might cause problems later on. Um, render those original frames into a folder called Original, which should be in the same folder as your Velocity folder. To allow for easier model swapping, we've decided to use the common xmodel underscore export format for our dynamic models, such as the players or weapons. Um, for this to work properly, you're going to need two things. The first is the Blender COD plugin made by Codeman X and SE2Dev. You can just download it from the link in the description and select the zip file in the previously mentioned install add-on from file dialog. Um, the other is Wraith Archon by DTZ Exporter. Um, the link to this tool is also in the description. Uh, we'll need Wraith to export any needed models from the game. Once you've got the tool open, open up the settings menu and make sure that you select Export XModel Export in the Models tab. After that's done, just open your game and load the map. Then click Load Game in Wraith, which should then show you a bunch of models and animations. For now, just export any model starting with Body underscore MP head underscore mp, view model underscore, weapon underscore, and view hands underscore. Later on, the import plugin will tell you if you're still missing any models that are needed to properly load the scene. After you've exported all of the mentioned models, create a models folder inside of the IW3D directory and move the individual model folders, including the images folder, over into the newly created directory. Now you should be set to proceed to importing a demo. The main component you'll work with when importing demos is the IW3D import plugin. Just install it like any other plugin via the user preferences and install add-on from file dialog. 
and once it's installed you should see two new import options appear. One is for importing velocity data and the other one is for IW3D file import. Start off by selecting the IW3D option and choosing your exported IW3D file. A dialog should pop up in which you are able to select the players and entities you want to select. By default, all of the players and entities are selected, but I highly recommend only importing the players and entities that actually appear in your clip. Um, you can refer to the recorded AVI demo frames to get the name of the players in your view. I'll just import one player and one entity for now. Uh, the view model is imported automatically. You can also choose to select the Import Base Velocity option, which will import all of the recorded frames, but be aware that this might take quite some time. If you plan on loading your own velocity, you don't really need this option though. After clicking the OK button, the plugin will import the selected players. This might take a few minutes. Once that has been loaded, you can use the Import Velocity option to select the first frame of your PNG image sequence. Make sure to select the first velocity frame and not the first original frame though. If you now go to the IW3D tab to the left of your screen, you can select the velocity you just imported. In this screen you can also toggle a bunch of other options, like hiding the player bones and so on. Your clip should now be ready to go. As you can see, the plugin imported a camera, the view model and the player and the entity we selected. It should also have your custom velocity on it. If you decide to change your velocity later on, you can just import the new set of velocity frames and select it in the IW3D tab. So that's basically it. A lot of the steps such as setting up the textures and models only need to be done once, so once you get into the IW3D workflow you should be able to create 3D scenes pretty quickly. Um, if you still have any questions please either contact me on Discord or on Twitter and you can also join the Call of Duty movie making Discord uh, with the link in the description. It has a demo channel for finding any demo you need and various support channels with a lot of people willing to help with whatever issue you might have.